Next idea. Let's try uh, this. It's a bug and four movement. You can practice to change weight. It's back and four and back and four. Same idea. When you go forward, don't fall into your right leg. Pretty much. This will be a follower movement. Pretty much the followers are already used not to fall backward. But watch that many times you let yourself fall forward. So it's the same. What you do backward, you do also forward. You don't fall forward, you project. In this way you change weight, but you won't be, you will have much more control. What the leader does in this? Okay, the follower was there. Left, open for the follower, your right space. So then she can enter that right space and you move a little bit the axis of the follower. Open that space. to bring the follower to that point. The lead is the energy of a pendulum. You don't have to move all the way to that extreme, to this extreme. This moves. So when you make your partner move, think in that area of the pendulum. Let's try that for now, after you make your partner change weight here, you can next step going to your right. For now only that, then we will see more in more detail what to do next. Continue to your right and your partner will be in front of you. Continue to your right, your partner will be in front of you. Exactly. This one is element that you like to call to make the follower enter the trap. And this one, this space here is the trap. And the follower is moving her right leg forward and back. Fall and back until the leader makes her continue forward and then attack. Let's try that element, incorporate that element into your move. 